Hello, reception. So your computing is going to be a little bit different because we want to start you off on the um, the other painting program that's on Purple Mash um, because year one and year two have had some experience of Purple Mash already. So we're going to be using a tool called To Paint, which I'm going to try to show you now. So from your home screen, I will set this as a to do for you, which is up here with the red tick. Or if you just want to go in for yourself, you choose the art button here with the purple paintbrush. And then yours looks like this here to paint. So we're going to click on there, launch the app and have a look at what we can do. And this afternoon, it's just about having an explore and seeing what you can find out. We're going to have a go at making a very simple picture. So over here you've got your felt tip pens and if you use the white arrows you can change the colour. All you've got to do to draw is to click on the colour and it takes the lid off for you and then come over here and make a picture. Simples, change colour, and you can add some different colour here as well. Okay, if you go wrong, there is a rubber over here, so if you click there, you can rub that out. If you make a mistake, you can use this black arrow here to undo what you've done. So if you rub out a bit you didn't mean to, you can undo it and take yourself back to a blank piece of paper. Now up here, you can toggle, we call that toggle because you can switch between two different views. So you can either have your um, colours on display. If you click here, you can choose different tools. Okay, so what we're going to do this afternoon is we're going to choose the paint can here. And it looks like it's being tipped on its side and there's going to be a paint spillage. Um, so we've chosen that. And then we're going to come down here, click on that colour and choose a colour. Now I'm going to choose this blue colour. And watch what happens when I click on the screen. It covers the whole of my background, the colour that I've chosen. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose this one that looks like a cloud. Let's look and see what that does. I'm going to change my colour to uh, this white colour. Oh, and it kind of gives this kind of spray effect so I can create some clouds in the sky. So we're going to end up with a kind of impressionist painting, a bit like year one. I quite like this. I think we should stick with this cloud here. We'll look at these other tools across the next few weeks, but this afternoon we're going to fill our background with colour and then choose this spray tool and change the colours. Now I can make it uh, bigger if I want to, so I can have it spray with bigger dots. Um, I think I'm going to have a bridge. There's my bridge. I wonder if you can guess which of the paintings that we looked at in the year one video and on the PowerPoint, which picture I'm trying to do. So there's a bridge going over here and then underneath I'm going to need this kind of bluey colour because this is going to be water and if I go back over the top I can make bits of it darker so I want to make it darker down here because this is a deep bit of water here I'm going to make it dark over here as well uh, and then I'm going to change it to this greeny colour and I'm going to just put some green over the top I think I saw a lighter green as well. I'm going to add some lighter green as well. 
So I'm having a go at creating a water lily pond like Claude Monet. So I just need some pink flowers on top now. So I'm going to make my paintbrush a bit smaller over here for that. So I'm using this draggy tool here because I don't want them to have big pink. I just want a little bit of pink. Because remember, impressionist paintings, they're not an exact detail just an impression of it. So there's my little water lily lily pad flowers. I'm quite pleased with those. And then over in the background, I'm going to go back to having a bigger brush. I'm going to choose some green again, and I'm going to put some bushes over here and over here. There we go. I'm going to call it my lily pond and then if I go up to this bit up here with the three lines and I'm going to count down one two three to the one with the s for save because I want it to remember it should be already in your work folder and then down here I'm going to call it my lily pond and I'm going to press save so it's saved it, it's remembered it, because then when I come out of this and I go into my work folder up here, oh dear, where is it? Oh, I'm going to have to have a hunt around for that now and hope that it's saved. I hope you have better luck with yours. Oh, there it is. Oh, whew. I got a bit worried there for a minute. So there's my, my lily pond painting. So have fun. Have a go. You don't have to paint the lily pond. You could paint anything you want using those two tools. So using the paint tin that's being poured out to colour your background and then using the uh, tool that looks like a cloud to add some impressionist paint strokes. I'm looking forward to seeing your pictures. Have lots of fun. Bye.